pleasure to welcome you all to the CME on Antibiotic Stewardship Program being held this year, organized by the Department of Anesthesiology, Critical Care, Pain and Palliative Medicine of Government Medical College, Srinagar. Antimicrobial resistance threatens to undermine decades of medical progress, making common infections difficult and sometimes impossible to treat. And the World Health Organization has rightly identified antimicrobial resistance as one of the ten, top 10 global health threats face, facing humanity. As a premier tertiary care institution, GMC Srinagar has a pivotal role in promoting rational antibiotic use, not only within our hospitals, but also by setting an example for the region, integrating stewardship principles into routine clinical practice, strengthening microbiology support, adhering to standard treatment guidelines, and fostering multidisciplinary collaboration are essential steps in this direction. And these academic deliberations go a long way in strengthening our institution in the days to come. Thank you very much. And it's very easy to take antibiotics for granted. But antibiotics have pulled patients back from the edge. They have made surgeries routine that once carried terrifying risks. They have transformed critical care, organ support, and post-operative survival, and they have changed the way we think about infection altogether. Stewardship for us is not about delay, it is about precision. Stewardship for us is also uh, educating our patients, because half the battle is correcting decades of misconceptions that our patients and general public have. It's also improving diagnostics, so we don't have to rely on guesswork. And it's about teamwork and working with our pharmacists, our microbiologists, our nurses, everyone who plays a role, even if that role isn't always noticed. And then there's the bigger picture. Infection prevention, vaccination, clean water, sanitation. The One Health approach reminds us Resistance can start anywhere, be it a hospital drain or our own prescriptions. It's all connected whether we see the connection or not. Today's gathering is a chance to pause and think, to learn from each other, to question our habits, to hear what others have tried and what has actually worked. Antibiotic stewardship in the ICU is not about restriction. It is about precision, choosing the right drug at the right dose, at the right time and for the right duration. It requires integration of clinical judgment with microbiology, pharmacokinetic, pharmacodynamic principles, uh, biomarkers, lo local antibiotics, and most importantly, the daily assessment for ongoing need. Antibiotics are the uh, most powerful tools in medicine, but their power is not unlimited. Today, antibiotic resistance is rising faster than the development of new drugs, and the way we prescribe the antibiotics plays a crucial role in this growing problem. That is why antibiotic stewardship is no longer an option, it is a responsibility. Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Helen Keller's words remind us that for any scientific progress, it's never an individual effort, but a sheer toil for a better tomorrow. At this midpoint of our deliberations on antibiotic stewardship, it's both a privilege and a responsibility to pause and express our gratitude to the many hands and minds that have brought this meaningful conference to life. Antibiotic stewardship is not about using less antibiotics. It is about using the right antibiotic for the right patient at the right time for the right duration. As anesthesiologists and critical care physicians, we witness every day how the right antibiotics at the right moment can transform the entire trajectory of an ICU state. The scenario is why we need to decide whether to give antibiotics in the first place uh, is one of the common causes, adults and children. We may lose, the mortality increases, we may lose some patients. So we start with broad spectrum, whatever organisms we think can be responsible, and then as the reports come, as the adults and profile comes, we narrow that. Actually, as an antimicrobial steward should do, to uh, monitor the proper de-escalation procedures in the hospital. Antimicrobial resistance, it is alarming, and as per lead authorities like World Economic Forum and other, that it can, potentially wipe the human. So these are the risk factors 
they are environmental risk factors and patient associated risk factors. Those ages should be as per need, what are you going And then orders, period, and most important economic. You all know or UN Health declares it as a silent pandemic, which is creeping under the carpet. One in six deaths due to infection in the West is because of antimicrobial resistance. And the policy. Department of Health. 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 It is for selected part of the pharmacology and since related. Wonderfully conducted. Thank you very much. By Professor Ajaz Nabi, sir. That means nearly one. Backbone of any institution. I start with this that. Brochure. Quality and feedback. Actually, one structural change. Yeah. Someone limits, sometimes it limits our views and opinions to our own bubble. So, to get a reality check, I answered this question before then. We got it, we got it. Yes, yes. We want to waste an antibiotic. Somebody that you want this patient. It's a success story of a dramatic, it's a physical event, had a success story.